All right, some of the stuff that I get, coffee, shampoo, toothpaste, always take toilet paper. So we try to get all this stuff, we go out and um, we'll give it to people that's in the woods. All right. So we're gonna walk around? Yep. All right. Just avoid all of the uh, stuff over there. And everybody likes to, to focus on the people who choose to be homeless. Most everyone we run into is homeless for a period of time. Come on in, do the drop-in, and we can uh, we can help you out with a shower, meal, and then maybe start on rental assistance if that's something you're interested yeah, in. Yeah, I'm supposed to get my COVID money, but I have like issues with my car. We're entering somebody's, essentially their home. It's not a home, and, and technically it's not even their property, but it is where they're living. How you doing, Jake? Good, how are you? People are put into a situation where that is how they have to live. Everything was going great up till I was 42. <laughs> and then everything kind of went crazy. I went to school at Nichman Junior High, then Liberty, graduated there, and took a job with a company. I traveled pretty much all over the world for 16 years. My parents had gotten ill. I took care of both of them for about eight years. Uh, when it crashed in 2007, I had to start remortgaging the house. And then my father passed away. And then uh, another two years with my mom. Didn't have any money left, so put some clothes on and left everything. I have the same thing my father had was lung cancer and I also have pulmonary fibrosis. I know it's progressing because uh, I, I, I can feel it. Oh boy, those are. They're getting there, yeah. Sleeping in the woods yeah. and staying outside is harsh. It's cold and it's a rough environment to live in. Just try to have some empathy. That could be me. There's a lot of people out there that'll help, you know? There's a lot of help out there if you if you look and you and you just communicate with people. Um, but it's not an easy go. 